President William Ruto has challenged African leaders to enhance self-reliance as so as to ensure the African agenda is controlled by financiers. Well, speaking at the fifth mid-year coordination meeting of the African Union, President Ruto expressed confidence in Africa's ability to thrive using its own resources, concerned that over 60% of Africa's programs were being funded by foreign nations. As Chemutai Goin reports, the meeting also proposed reforms at the African Union. Several heads of state and government from various African countries streamed into the meeting room for the fifth media coordination meeting of the African Union. Those present included Comoros President Azali Asumani, his Gabon counterpart Ali Bongo, Abdel Fattah of Egypt, Bola Tinubu of Nigeria, and also the African Union Commission Chairperson Musa Faki. To the 14th of July. In his address, President William Ruto spoke to Africa's bid to be independent, calling on his people to embrace the message of self-reliance. At the moment, over 60% of our program's budget is financed by partners. The demands of our challenging time require an AU that can pursue multiple urgent and critical interventions using internally mobilized resources. President William Ruto saying it was unfortunate that over five decades later, the African continent still relied heavily on external funding to drive its agenda. It's my prayer, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, that we finally make the right decision and build an organization that is fit for purpose, that has the requisite finances, the needed voice and the leadership that can project Africa's position much more clearly with a strong voice so that we can take our place in the community of nations. If African solutions to African challenges and opportunities are to be more than a slogan, we must have a strong voice in the G20, defining Africa's innovation and ideas, and we must also have unified action by African leaders to disrupt the unacceptable status quo. Africa is suffering uh, the consequences of uh, world governance and the effect of the financial crisis which is felt uh, by Africa. In fact, Africa should come up with its own African common position dealing with trade, migration, development financing, and the conflict resolution. While calling for reforms of the African Union, the leaders also took issue with the unfair financial system that disenfranchised Africa, as at the moment, the continent has a debt stock of $640 billion, whose repayment was high, owing to the branding of African nations as risky. All of us have read about the animal farm, where there are some that are more equal than others. Our position is that we don't live in the animal farm, that we treat each other and all of us are treated by a financial system equally. With the implementation of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, where 54 countries have agreed to create a single market, President Ruto added that it was clear that Africa was unstoppable. Agenda 2063 is our blueprint to deliver the Pan-African vision of an integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa driven by its own citizens, representing a dynamic force in the international arena. We need the strength of our combined numbers to protect ourselves from the very real dangers of colonization returning in disguised forms. The leaders also agreed to mobilize humanitarian aid to aid in response to the crisis in Sudan, even as the leadership of the union works to restore peace between the warring groups. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV.